Hey guys, welcome back to Tower of God New World. In today's video, I wanted to update the wishlist priorities. Now, I'm going to go pretty in-depth into this one. I'm going to talk about it for new accounts, existing accounts, looking at pushing into three teams and stuff like that. Also, depending on what SSL pluses you have and all that sort of thing. Now, also, it is school holidays for my kids. So if you hear some yelling and playing in the background, uh, it's it's too hard to manage now with school holidays. So it's just going to happen from time to time over the next two weeks. So I do apologize. But... Let's jump into it. Let's go. First off, I want to talk about the main wishlist spot and the way I would format this for a new account. So for the main wishlist spot, you basically have three options in my mind at the moment. Now, you do have other options uh, that you can definitely flex around. These are my three favorites. So I'm not going to go through every possible option because you could flex around and, and choose whoever you want. But these are the three primary ones. Now, for me personally, if I was starting a new account, I would focus on these two and I wouldn't focus on hats because I would be waiting for a new uh, third carry. So these two are by far my two favorites um, for your carry. And these are the ones you want on your main wish list because you want to get the multiple dupes of them. And I'm waiting till we get hopefully like a purple one because purple have a lot of good support units and I really want them to have a strong carry. Currently, their two best carries for purple are Endorsey and Rachel, but those two aren't quite up to this this uh, par with these two. So in the future, when we do get another good carry, uh, that's who I would recommend, but you can do hats if you want. But I'm going to focus in this video on these two because those are my favorite two. And now I think you want to choose which one of these two you want on your main wish list as your first carry, but you're always going to leave both of them. And once again, if it's not these two as your first two carries you want to use, you can choose whoever, whoever like if you want to do hats, you can do him as well. Now, this flex spot, this sub flex spot, uh, if there was a third carry that I was 100% on, I would put them in here and I would leave them on there permanently because when you get to chapter 16, you start needing two teams, so you'll need two carry DPS. And then when you get to chapter 21, you'll need a third carry DPS. At the moment, there's no one that I'm on my account putting in this spot. I am saving summons to see if we get a new carry viable character and that is the way I'm playing it um, but yes I think these two you want to leave on the whole time from the beginning of the game then from you know if we do get a third carry option I think you want to leave it on as well um, it depends on how think you how fast you think you're going to progress because maybe they keep introducing power crept carries so it's a tough one it just depends on where the situation is at but in the current state of the game I think these two a hundred percent now, for the remaining three slots, if you're on a new account, once again, oh yeah, what I was going to say is for these two, deciding which one you want to do in the main slot, uh, for a new account, I think it kind of, you can go either way. They're both fantastic. I think it depends on what SSR plus you have. So if you have either Data Mashni or Data Zahard uh, for, your, for an SSR plus, then you can go Ihua on your main wish list because these guys can protect her long enough. Uh, if you don't have either of those two, uh, then I think you want to go uh, Huarian, but on the flip side, if you don't have either of those two, but you do have an Evan, then I think you want to go back to Ihua because what Evan does is make the, uh, the unit invisible. And so he'll be making her invisible. And what you can do is you can get yourself a Vespa to be your pseudo tank because Vespa is like a budget version of these two. These two like have invincibility tanking for anywhere from, you know, like eight to 12 seconds, whereas Vespa's got about three seconds. But that is the way I would look at it. Once again, uh, if you don't have any SSR, any of these three SSR pluses, I think Huarian is the move. Uh, if you have uh, Evan, but not either of these two, then I think you go Ihua. If you have either of these two and not Evan, I think you go Ihua as well. Um, but if you have all of them, you can pretty much pick what you want out of these two. That's the way I would look at it. Once again, that's a loose suggestion. So take from that what you will. But that's the way I would look at it personally doing a fresh account. Ihua, the great thing about her is she doesn't require extra copies. Huarian, the great thing about, like, well, she does require them, but she works well at lower copies because her damage scaling is so huge. Huarian is good because she has the shields and she can protect your team as well. So either of those two are fine. And the great thing is, even if you have uh, Ihua here, if you get copies of Huarian, she's good as well because she works as a support early game in an Ihua team anyway. Now, for the remaining slots, like I said, this flex spot 
Um, you can use for a third carry if there's a third carry you want. If you like hats, you can do that. For me, I think hats is going to get power crept. So I'm leaving, I, I would leave this and I would get your support units. So what I would do from here is you want to pick a copy of all the other supports, the key support units. Now there are other ones. Some people would argue for rock. Some people would argue for a Shibisu. This guy's good if you want to get a uh, defense shred in guild battles. There's a lot more, but these are the main ones I came up with. Now we all get a free copy of bomb when we start in a Account. So the way I would do this would be to get these key units. Now, the first three that I would try and pick up uh, personally would be those ones or Naray, something like that. Um, th those, th this is more if you're looking at a Huarian team. Otherwise, I would go with something like this. But basically, you want to, I'm just going to remove hats for now. Um, basically, you want to pick up one copy of these units in my mind. Once again, if you don't have a Zahad or a Mashni, then I think Honeybee becomes one of the first ones you want to get. So it's just flexing around these sub wishlist spots. And once you get one copy of each of these characters, that is when I would sub them out. So if I get one copy of her, I would swap to her. If I get one copy of her, then I'd swap to her, uh, you know, swap around. You want to get one copy of all these units in my mind. That is the way I would play it personally, because they all have tech usage. She's good for energy regeneration, defense breaking, some damage mitigation. Really good for a grouping unit here with Rachel. We've got Endorsey, who you can cheese with at the start of the battle. When you have her in your lineup, she can group the whole enemy team up at the start of battle. Um, we got good control. We got shielding. We got um, stuns. Fantastic. Uh, her, we get basically extra attack speed and crit at the start of battle for our main carry. Uh, this is our pseudo tank if you don't have Data Mashni or Data Zahad. Uh, and her, she's just a solid healer and has really good synergy with Huarian. So those, all those units, I think you want to pick up at least one copy of. Now, after you've got one copy of all those, where do you leave your wish list? The first unit that I would say you 100% leave as a support unit in your wish list is Bomb. He's got the ability on his uh his not his ultimate but his skill one where it increases your allies uh your your ally with the highest attack i believe it is it's the attack isn't it um but he increases their attack and defense permanently for the entire battle so even if he dies that buff stays and it is huge so every time you get to one green star, one blue star, one purple star, one red star, you're going to increase that amount of attack and, and defense that he gives them. And it is so vital. Once you get him to one red, then I think you can just remove him off the wish list altogether because that's like his max, like max efficiency investment. But I think bomb is one that everyone should be leaving on their wish list. He's one that I highly recommend because in my opinion, he's like the best buffer in the game currently. Now, the, the next uh, spot here, once again, you can keep going around and picking up a single copy of any of these other units that you like and you want to use. Uh, for instance, uh, who's another one? Like he could be a good one because he can be used to pull enemies at the start of battle. So I use him tech at, at uh, from time to time. I also use this guy at tech position at time to time, but they're not as vital as these other core support units that I look at. So the other one, when you look at um, another core spot for a support, once you've gotten a copy of each of them, one that, you know, if you keep gradually getting dupes is going to be nice. Now you could go with Rachel because she is DPS viable. You could go with Endorsey because she is decent to get dupes on, but I am, I'm just, I'm banking on them getting power crept essentially in their damage dealing capabilities. So one that I really like is going to be Kuhn. Now, the reason is this guy, his ultimate is an AOE control ability. And this is a very long-term play. And I've been leaving him in my wish list as a long-term play because he basically, if we can get him maxed out to five rainbow star, which is a very, very long-term play. Uh, but when he gets that starting energy, uh, I, I just see that early ult where you're stunning the entire enemy team if you have them grouped up is going to be just super valuable. So he's another long-term play one that I think. Also, if we do get a purple carry unit, um, he does give the purple buff. So getting dupes is going to just keep increasing the power of your purple carry once we get a purple carry. So I think these two are both fantastic to leave in. And then the other one that I would leave in, once again, this sub spot, you can flex it. Maybe you go for a tanky character because once we look to to, um, you know, you could look at one of these two, maybe, because once we look to three teams, maybe you start needing another tank because we only got two stall tanks in Data Mashni and Data Zahad, but maybe they introduce another stall tank in that time. We don't know. So there's a lot of unknowns on future characters and stuff like that um, on what will happen. So we can't be for sure what we want to put here, but 
if there's a third carry, for instance, if if the new character we're getting in the new update, uh, the new SSR girl, the Coon girl, uh, if she's a carry viable option uh, and she's another element for me, I'll probably put her in there. Um, but for now, the other one that I like putting in is going to be Bunny on a Box, I call her because I can't say her name properly. Um, and because she is the red buffing unit, which is going to work well in your Huarian team. Also, it increases her healing values as you get her skill ups, which is going to be fantastic. And she's all around great support. So for me, it, this is this is the wish list that I am currently running on my account, I believe, unless I got one change in there, I can't remember. But this is where I this is where I would be probably going. Like I said, for new accounts, I think you pick up all a copy of all of these units and any other tech unit you want to get a copy of, but you just pick them up through this sub spot. Once you eventually summon them, you swap them off. And then this is where I would leave the wish list at the moment. But on the other hand, I am also saving summons in the moment. I have my Huarian maxed out. So she isn't actually on my wish list. So this is where my wish list is at, but I am waiting for a new carry to be introduced into the game before I summon. Yes, I could do something like this and just put hats up here and then do hats as my third carry, but I think we're going to get a new I want I want I really want a purple carry. So I'm hoping we can get a purple carry very soon that I can put in this main wish list spot. Now my Ihua is only at uh like I said my Huarian is maxed out. My Ihua is at uh I think 3 orange. Now the good thing about Ihua is she works at low dupe. So if we do get a new carry, I would take her, put her in a sub spot, and then I would get the other carry built. Now, if we want to look past that and say you've got like two carries maxed out, three carries maxed out, yes, then we might start looking towards getting some more tanky units like your rocks, like your uh, Vespers in there to be tanks in our three team combinations. But I think that's still a fair way off for a lot of free to play players. I think you're still working on getting your three carries built. So I'm not going to go that deep into it. But like I said, I feel like this or this is a very strong wish list for anyone coming into the game and playing. Once again, get one copy of all all the key characters because you can use them in tech situations and any of the other ones that you may want and then you just de this would be my default once i've got one copy of every character that i want this would be my default wish list in the current state of the game but if you are in that chapter 18 chapter 19 like myself you might want to start holding on to some summons and waiting for another carry or picking another carry now for those who do did uh, decide to do hats as your first carry um i would say my wish list would then look like something like this uh if, if hats was your first carry uh, i'd probably be looking at this depending on how many dupes you hats is that if you've already invested to it into him i still think he's a great unit uh and you can shift it around anything like this uh however it just depends on dupes but you just you know if you've got a hats completely maxed out then you just go back to this and you have these two in there but hats still a great option i'm just waiting for a uh, hopefully a purple unit to replace him because i've already got a yellow unit with ihua so that's pretty much my summary of a wish list. Once again, this is the kind of thing I would be looking at once you've got a copy of all those core characters. And then eventually, once we get another carry that I'm happy with, uh, that I would highly recommend to everyone, uh, then I would change that up and put the carry in one of these sub spots as well. But hopefully that made some sense. Uh, let me know what you guys think of a wish list. Once again, this is just my opinion on my experience in the game. Uh, I think discussion in the comments is always a great thing to get different opinions from different players. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.